Hi, it's Andrew here from Home Theatre Engineering, and this is an anamorphic lens. Heavy little sucker, solid glass. Um, there's several elements to this thing, and we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons and some of the advantages of using an anamorphic lens. And recently, there's been even more of a reason to use anamorphic lens than ever before. The scene behind me, if you haven't seen it already, is from Aquaman. What we're looking at at the moment is a 16 by 9 image on an anamorphic screen. So it wouldn't matter whether this is your TV, an anamorphic screen or a 16 by 9 screen, everything at the moment is fine. Um, and this would normally fill your TV screen and with the anamorphic screen we get the bars on the left and right. We'll just play the scene and see what happens. Okay. What suddenly happened here is that image, IMAX or 16x9, has suddenly jumped back to anamorphic. So now we're left with black bars on the top and the bottom. And the problem with this is that if you're trying to watch this on an anamorphic screen only, suddenly you start to lose information and it can get very, very frustrating. We do recommend anamorphic screens because it really gives you that cinematic feel. But how do you manage this constantly changing source format now? Big frustration. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use anamorphic zoom to try and resolve this problem. So we're going to zoom the projector out to the point where um, now this anamorphic picture will fill the screen. So what's happening at the moment is the projector is zooming and enlarging the image so that this nicely fits the screen the way we'd watch most anamorphic movies. We'll just jump back to the beginning of the chapter and see what happens. Okay, the problem we've got here, and I don't know if you can see this on the camera, is at the top of the picture here, the image has jumped out of the picture, all right, and down the bottom here, all right. So as we play the picture now, we'll just hit the play button. and all of the information is scrolling off the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen. And also, any menus and that disappear off the bottom. Okay, we can pause it now, and we're okay again. Now, at the moment, the picture doesn't fit perfectly because this is our, uh, our testing room and we've been messing around with the projector a bit, um, but you can see that basically this, this fits the screen. So, if you've got an anamorphic screen, you're now stuck with the issue where all of your source material that jumps from anamorphic to 16 by 9 keeps leaping off the screen. It's not very convenient. It's okay if you're watching TV, but not so cool if you're doing this. It also works if you're watching on a 16 by 9 screen, but then you don't get your cinematic feel. It feels like you're losing all the way around. Now, IMAX are starting to produce more and more material, and so the question becomes, how do you watch your IMAX on an anamorphic screen if that's what you've got. There are other screen formats you can trial. There's a, like a two by one ratio. The problem with two by one ratio is you end up with black bars whichever way you go. If you go anamorphic, you end up with black bars um, on one side of the picture, and if you go 16 by nine, you end up with black bars on the other. It's an interesting compromise, but we're actually finding now with this constantly changing source format that it's not working so well. All right, what's another reason to use an anamorphic lens? We've mentioned this in some of our other videos, but if you are watching um, anamorphic material at the moment and you're using anamorphic zoom like we are here, then what's happening is this. 30% of your information is off the top of the screen. It's actually blanked out by the projector and it's off the top of the screen here and it's down the bottom of the screen here. 30% of your material you're also losing some of your light output because that's hitting the chip and just being deflected inside the projector. The worst thing is, if you think you're watching 4K, I hate to break it to you, but you're not. What you're seeing here is in fact um, just the pixels that are available on your chip after 30% has been taken away. In fact, you throw away more pixels than there are in an entire 1080p Blu-ray picture, which is astounding. Um, so you don't get that really nice, tight um, pixel spacing. You don't get um, that really nice um, resolution. 
and you don't get all of the light output from your projector. So you've paid a lot of money for a 4K projector and you're not actually seeing 4K in that sense. All right, so an anamorphic lens fixes that because what we can do is we can then use all of the chip and stretch it out. And we'll show you exactly how that's done right now. So now we've refitted the anamorphic lens to the projector and it doesn't look a lot different, does it? This is a 16 by nine or IMAX sequence that we saw before, but with an anamorphic lens attached. So we'll just play that and we'll see what happens. So we're seeing this in 16 by nine on an anamorphic screen again, same screen. And all of a sudden it jumps to the anamorphic content. I'll just pause it there. Right, so what do we do with our anamorphic lens? It's very simple. There's anamorphic mode A and B. Currently we're in mode B and that actually shrinks the image electronically on the projector so that we get this 16 by nine format. Once it goes to anamorphic, our black bars come back. All right, let's fix that now. Let's go into the menu and change to anamorphic A. And voila, suddenly our image now fits the screen and um, the advantage here is that we've got all of our pixels and we've got all of our light output. And let's watch what happens this time. How's that? No annoying jumps, no annoying changes. And what you probably didn't notice was at the beginning of the sequence, let's just take it back to the beginning of the chapter again. The only real compromise is that this image is actually just stretched out a little bit at the edges. And that's it. That's the advantage of using an anamorphic lens with this constantly changing IMAX content that goes from anamorphic 16 by nine back to anamorphic and over and over again. And it can drive you absolutely potty. Having an anamorphic lens in front of the camera fixes that. What else does an anamorphic lens do? I referred to this earlier a little bit, but now the other advantage is because we're using the anamorphic A stretch, we have now taken all of the chip in our camera, these pixels are now actually smaller, right? We've actually reduced them because we're using all of them. So they've been effectively compressed together. Um, we've then stretched the image out. So they've become a little bit um, wider, I guess. Um, but we're also getting all of our light output from our projector. So those are the reasons to have an, an, an anamorphic lens. Use all of your resolution. If you're watching zoomed, uh, 4K content, you're not seeing all of your pixels. A third of them are missing. If you're watching zoomed anamorphic content, you're not getting all of the light out of your projector. So anamorphic lenses are still very, very valid. And since we started introducing this mixed format from our source material, going from uh, 16 by nine to anamorphic and back again, or IMAX and back again, and with more IMAX and more of this mixed source material coming, that's gonna be a real nightmare for us. And an anamorphic lens, as you saw, fixes that. Now, is it perfect? You do lose a little bit of content in the 16 by nine or anamorphic sequence because that then pops off the screen, but because we're already using all of the chip content, we don't see that, we don't miss it on the top. And also, you need to understand when they make a movie, the director has a safe zone. If you've ever sort of looked through a video camera or if you've done any editing, you'll notice there's a safe zone and the directors never put important content in that safe zone area, or they, sorry, they never put it outside of the safe zone area. So it's perfectly okay to do this. And the great thing is we really don't notice that change anymore. So if you're one of those people who's getting frustrated by this constantly changing format, the answer is an anamorphic lens. So have a think about it. All of your pixels, all of your light, and no more frustration. Try out anamorphic lenses. It's a new way to go with an old technique.